for the first time in my life, I experienced lower back pain. I am 21 years old. This really rocked my world because I always thought that people who got lower back pain were people who did nothing. It went away and I thought everything was fine and I never thought about it again until the summer three years later, I experienced this very sudden pain in my lower back and like a typical idiot, just kept on pushing and climbing to the top and finished my ride, but then went on to experience the exact same thing, Stuart, for two weeks. I was debilitated, but then it got better and I kind of just forgot all about it. And then fast forward to the big one. It's I'm now, doing pattern recognition here. Peter. Yeah. Yeah. So the big, <laughs> the big one occurred in my third year of medical school. I'm now 27 years old and the remarkable consistency of this is not lost on me. It is every three years by the summer and I'm riding my bike from class to the gym and um, I get to the gym, hop off my bike to lock it up. And all of a sudden I feel that same horrible pain in my back. And it was so bad that I did something I'd never done before, Stuart. I decided not to go into the gym. I assumed I'd be fine the next morning. And I woke up the next morning and actually couldn't get out of bed. This went on for a month. And it got so bad that eventually the pain progressed from just being debilitating in my lower back to a nerve pain that felt like my foot was being skinned. There's a happy ending to this story, Stuart, which is after this, this bout, which occurred when I was 27, which took a year to resolve, um, I made it kind of a mission to figure out what was going on. A reasonable person would look at an MRI of my spine today at the age of 50 and say, how does he walk? Like how, it, this person must be in so much pain. He doesn't know his name. And yet I can tell you for the most part, I'm not at all. The fact that you're smiling so much as I tell you this story tells me not that you're taking pleasure in my pain, but rather the familiarity of my story. Exactly. I've been doing pattern recognition. There's only one thing that would account for the repeated acute episodes. In the interim between each one, you were quite fine. Then it shifted to a radicular pain, and now you're at the stage of your life where it's more a, a, an occasional grumpiness when you cross what we call the tipping point.